Hi everyone, welcome back to Bob's Wood Stuff for my first SketchUp episode where I'm going to show you how to model a mortise and tenon joint in SketchUp. First I'll start up the program. This is SketchUp Pro 2020, pretty fancy. Click More Templates and go to Woodworking Inches. If you don't use inches, obviously use the centimeters one. I'm using the large tool set, which I find more useful. So let's go ahead and design the leg of a table. I want this table leg to be two inches thick. So I'll take the tape measure tool and I'll put it on the red axis, move it away from there to make a line parallel, and I'll type two and press enter. That'll make it exactly two inches. Then I'll do the same thing from the green line, type two and press enter. Now I can take the rectangle tool and it'll snap to that intersection I've created and also to the origin. So I'll click on that intersection, drag it to the origin, and I've got a square that's two inches. Let's say I want my table to be 32 inches tall. What I'll do is I'll select this square and then I'll use the push-pull tool to drag it up along the blue axis and type 32 and hit enter. Just for looks, I'm going to make the background a different color. So I've got the table leg at 32 inches by two inches by two inches, and I need to create two mortises in it for the skirts to attach to on the corner of the table. The skirt of the table is going to be one inch thick by six inches wide. So what I'll do is take the tape measure tool and make a line parallel to that top line, click six and enter. Now I have a line that's six inches down. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. I want the skirt to be offset by one eighth of an inch so that it emulates that shaker style. So I'll draw a guide that is one eighth of an inch off of this. I'll just type in one slash eight and hit enter. And then from there, I can move over by one inch to show the size of my board. And then the same thing on the other side. I'll move over by one eighth. And then from that guide, move over by one inch. From the top of the leg, I want about an inch of shoulder so that I'm not weakening the top of this. So I'll make a guide parallel to the top and go down by one inch. And I'll do that on the other side as well. If it's starting to look a little bit confusing, don't worry, we can delete some of these guides later. Then from the bottom, I also want a shoulder of half an inch. So I'll make a guide and type 0.5. You can also type one divided by two, but 0.5 is a little bit faster. And then I'll do that from this side as well. The general rule of thumb with mortises is that you don't want the mortise to be wider than one third of the piece that it's in. This is two inches wide. I can make my mortise three quarters of an inch and it's just a hair over one third of that, which is okay. Because my markings are one inch apart from each other and I want the mortise to be three quarters of an inch, what I'll do is I'll come in by one eighth of an inch from both sides, which will subtract one quarter of an inch total. And now I have my actual mortise marked out and I can draw it. I'll just take the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle right here. Same thing on the other side. Now that I have those drawn, I can remove most of my guides. So I'll use the eraser tool and just click the ones that I don't need anymore. Now I'm going to start making the actual joinery and it's very useful to view this in either x-ray view or reveal back faces view. I'll go to my styles panel in the tray on the right and click on edge settings, which is this one right here, and check the box for back edges. Now I need to use the push pull tool to push that rectangle inside the leg, but I need to make sure that it doesn't intersect the other one so the tendons don't hit each other. So what I'll do is I'll rotate it around and I'll use my tape measure tool and I can see that one inch is the amount of space that I have before I hit that other tenon. So what I'll do is I'll push the mortise in by seven eighths of an inch so they don't touch each other. I'll click the rectangle with my selection tool, then use the push pull tool along this axis. Sometimes it's easier to go on the axis if you push it even farther than you need to and I'll type in seven divided by eight, which will make that mortise go in seven eighths of an inch. 
And I'll do the exact same thing on the other one. Push pull tool, 7 divided by 8. Boom. Now you can see what the inside of the joint looks like. I'm going to change the color of this so it stands out a little bit more. So I'll click three times on it to select the whole object and go up to my materials panel and give it a nice light green color. And I'll also make it a component so that when I draw the skirt piece, the geometries don't collide with each other and become one object. Make component leg. So now I'll start drawing the skirt piece, which I've already marked out here with my guides. So I can just deselect that, take the rectangle tool and draw it from this intersection down to this intersection. And then I'll use the push pull tool to make it a 3D object. So I'll select that and push pull. Here you could type in any number depending on how wide you want your table to be. I'm just gonna go 20 inches, hit enter. Now that I've drawn this, I can delete all my guides because the only guide that I need is the actual mortise itself. So I'll go to edit, delete guides. What I need to do now is make a matching tenon that goes inside of this mortise. So I'll start by triple clicking on this skirt piece and making it a component, call it skirt. And then I will double click on that component to edit it. And I can still see the geometry of the mortise. So I'll use the rectangle tool to trace that mortise. Then I'll make that rectangle. I can select it and use the push pull to go seven divided by eight. Now I have a seven eighths inch tenon fitting inside the seven eighths inch mortise. And I can come out here, click on the leg and hide so you can see the actual tenon. I'll add some color to this skirt piece as well. And then go to edit, unhide last, and you can see both of the pieces. Now I have a perfect fitting tenon inside the mortise, but Technically, you want the tenon a little bit shorter by about a sixteenth of an inch so there's room for glue. So what I'll do is I'll hide this leg piece again, edit the component for the skirt piece, and I'll click on the end of this tenon and use push-pull to just push it in by one divided by sixteen. So now it's one sixteenth of an inch shallower than the mortise itself. To get out of the component, I'll click outside of this bounding box and then I'm back to the main screen, and I will unhide last. You can see that the mortise fits inside the tenon. You can see the slight offset right there, and it's pretty clear what the geometry of this joint is. Another view that is handy is the X-ray view. Go into my Styles panel and click on Face Settings and X-ray. With the X-ray view, I can see inside of the joint also, but it's not as useful as the back faces view when you're actually designing the joints. And that is how I like to make mortise and tenon joints using SketchUp. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe. Bye.